Good morning. I'll tell you. To a new week. And a new week at the Conscious Lab means a new theme. Uh, so this week we're celebrating, which is um, perhaps a strange thing to do, uh, given, I don't know, the state of the world, but um, it's, it's necessary. And um, what I mean by celebrate is to really notice the, the good things that are happening, even if they're in your own life, certainly, even if they're the tiniest, 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 little, littlest, littlest things. Um, and then, so that's one level is to celebrate, oh, this happened today, you know, like the smallest things. Um, and then the second level is to celebrate when to, to kind of flip the script a little bit. Um, when you start noticing yourself getting down on yourself and kind of going into a downward spiral um, about something that you didn't do. Oh, I reacted like this. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, you know, I, I could have done this better. Um, and then we start to to kind of go into what's often called a shame spiral, downward spiral. Um, and and what I'm suggesting is not just a flip on toxic positivity. It's not just like, oh, well, you know, pretend that it's okay. I'm not suggesting that. What I'm saying is to celebrate the fact that you even noticed. Uh, so if you notice that you reacted to something that you know you could have done better, celebrate the fact that you noticed. So celebrate your awareness. Celebrate, the, I mean, the fact that you even know, the fact that you even know is a reason to celebrate. Um, to be a lot kinder with how we speak to ourselves, um, a lot kinder, much more gentle with the attitude that we have towards ourselves and find every single reason to celebrate, every reason to celebrate, 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 the small wins, the big wins, um, celebrate when you notice, um, you know, when something happened and see if this week we can reorientate ourselves. So basically that's what it does. That's what this mindset does is it sends us more on an upward spiral because the more we celebrate, the more we're able to notice the good things, the more they tend to come. I don't know how that works, but experiment with me this week to see. Um, so celebrate the fact that you woke up this morning. You woke up this morning at this time to work on yourself, on your body, to start your day in this way. I mean, what an amazing thing already to celebrate. So let's get started. And we're going to stand at the front edge of your mat with your toes and heels together, your hands by your sides, close your eyes, and just take a deep breath in through the nose, and exhale through the nose. And then come into normal breathing, cultivate the stillness, so you're just simply standing here. Being happy for the fact that you're alive, that you're able to breathe, that you have good health, that you're able to get up in the morning at this time, that you have access to this kind of practice. And then exhale the breath out. And you're going to inhale, hook your thumbs, reach forward up and arch back. And then exhale, bend your knees, slowly swing your arms behind your back, clasp hands together in a fist, see if you can extend the legs, keeping your knees bent if you need to, still early, breathe in. And breathe out. And reverse that action, inhale, bend knees, hook thumbs, reach forward up and arch back, extend the legs, reach back. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms behind your back, clasp hands together in a fist, see if you can start to extend the legs, the neck is relaxed. And again, inhale, bend knees, hook thumbs, reach forward up and arch back, then extend the legs. Exhale, bend knees, swing arms behind your back, clasp hands together in a fist, neck is relaxed. 
Inhale, bring your hands to the floor. Separate your feet to the side edges of your mat. Turn your toes out. Deeply bend the knees and exhale. Come down into Malasana, into a squat. Use your elbows to push your knees out to the sides. Pushing your chest forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And feel an upward movement through the crown of your head. So growing tall out of the waist. And then look at your feet and make sure you're not collapsing into the arches. So you pull the weight more towards the outside of the feet. Two more deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Deep inhale. Exhale. And then inhale, bring both hands to the floor. Exhale, extend the legs, parallel the feet, soften the knees, tuck the chin, inhale, roll up to stand one vertebra at a time. And exhale, Tadasana, toes and heels together again. Utkatasana, inhale, deeply bend the knees, reach the arms out in front of you, palms touch. Keep your knees bent, exhaling, fold forward, hands to the floor on either side of the feet, Uttanasana, relax the neck. Inhale, lengthen the spine forward, look up, and then exhale, take two steps back into plank pose, and then hold it here. Strong in the tummy, driving the crown of the head forward, the heels back, deep inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here, full deep breathing. Two more breaths. One more breath. Forward plank pose, inhale, shoulders over the elbows and the wrists. Exhale, lower your knees, your chest and your chin to the floor. And then lie flat on your belly. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Squeeze your palms together and exhale, press the forehead down. Then inhale, lift everything up, chest, chin, feet, legs. Exhale, one, three breaths here. Cultivate the breath. One more deep inhale, lift. And exhale, release, come down, hands underneath the shoulders, take your toes under. Inhale, extend to the elbows into plank pose. And downward facing dog, exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, extend your right leg back and up behind you. And hold as you exhale. Inhale, bring your knee to your nose, so rounding in the back. Exhale, hold. Straight away, inhale, extend the right leg back and up behind you. Exhale, hold. Inhale, bring your right knee to your left elbow. Exhale, hold. Inhale, extend the right leg back and up behind you. Exhale, hold. Inhale, right knee to the right elbow. So you come all the way forward into a plank position. Exhale, hold. Inhale, extend the right leg back and up behind you. And exhale, hold. Hips are level. Finish the exhalation. Look forward, inhale, step your right foot forward in between your hands, exhale, left heel to the floor, 45 degrees, rise up warrior one, inhale, palms touch, exhale, sink down into the front knee, deep inhale, breath here, and then exhale, open arms, chest and hips to the side, warrior two, 
Inhale, bring both hands to the floor on either side of the right foot. Step the right foot back to plank pose. Hinge a little bit forward, chaturanga, exhale. Bend the elbows 90 degrees or knees, chest, chin. Upward facing dog or cobra as you inhale. Roll over the toes, downward facing dog, exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, extend the left leg back and up behind you, hips are parallel. Exhale. Rounding in the back, inhale, bring the knee to the nose. Exhale, hold. Inhale, extend the left leg back and up behind you. Exhale, hold. Inhale, left knee to the right elbow. Exhale. Inhale, left leg back and up behind you. Exhale, see it as a breathing exercise. Inhale, left knee to the left elbow. Exhale. Inhale, left leg back and up behind you. Exhale. Look forward. Inhale, step your left foot forward in between your hands and exhale, right heel to the floor, 45 degrees. Rise up, warrior one, inhale and exhale, hold. Deep inhale and exhale, open arms, chest and hips to the side, warrior two. Inhale, both hands to the floor on either side of the left foot, step the left foot back to plank pose without lifting the hips or strong tummy. Hinge forward, chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog or cobra as you inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more deep inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, step or jump your feet up in between your hands, folding forward as you exhale. Utkatasana, inhale, bend your knees, reach your arms up, palms touch. And exhale, come to stand, Tadasana, hands by your sides. Take a moment, be still. Just feel. Connecting movement with breath, Utkatasana, inhale, bend the knees. Reach the arms out in front of you, palms touch. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the floor, extending the legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine, forward, look up. Exhale, step back to plank pose. Finish the exhalation. Use your inhale to hinge a little bit forward and chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right foot forward, inhale, warrior one. Straight away, exhale, hold. So straight away, come up. Inhale. Open arms, chest and hips to the side. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hands to the floor. Right foot back to plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left foot forward, rise up, warrior one. Inhale, straight away. Hold as you exhale. Inhale. Exhale, open arms, chest and hips to the side, warrior two. Inhale, hands to the floor. Left foot back to plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out. Again, right foot forward, warrior one. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hold. Stay here, breathe in. Exhale, open arms, chest and hips to the side, warrior two again. Stay here, inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale, extend to the right leg. Exhale, slide the left hand down the left leg, reach the right arm up and over the right ear. So bend into the left, deep inhale. Exhale, deeply bend the right knee, reverse warrior. And look up towards the ceiling. Inhale back, warrior two. Exhale, bring your right elbow to rest on your right thigh. Extend the left arm up and over the left ear. Maybe bring your right hand to the floor on the outside of the right foot or use a block. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Look down at the floor. Stand down through both feet, back to warrior two. Inhale, lots of control. Keep your right knee bent. Exhale. Inhale, extend to the right leg. Exhale, extend out of the right leg. Hinge down sideways. Trikonasana. Look up towards the left thumb. Stay here. Three deep breaths. Exhale, look down at your right big toe. Stand down to both feet. Inhale, come all the way back up to stand. Exhale, bend the right knee again. Warrior two as a transition. Inhale, both hands to the floor. Lift the left heel up. Right foot back to plank pose. And chaturanga. Exhale, lie all the way flat down on your belly. From here, inhale, bend both your knees. Tap to your feet from the outside. And exhale, press the forehead down into the floor. Dhanurasana, inhale, kick into your hands as you lift your knees up, your chest and your chin. Exhale. See if you can slow the breath down. One more, inhale, lift. And exhale, release, come down, hands underneath your shoulders, palms flat, tuck your toes under. Inhale, bring your seat to your heels, your forehead to the floor. Exhale. Deep inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, step or jump your feet up in between your hands. And fold forward as you exhale. Udkatasana, inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms up, palms touch. And exhale, come to stand. Tadasana, bring your hands at your heart center, close your eyes, take a moment to just feel, be still. And exhale, hands by your sides. Again, Utkatasana, inhale, bend the knees. Reach the arms out in front of you, palms touch. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the floor on either side of the feet, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine, forward, look up. Exhale, step back to plank pose. Inhale, knees to the floor. Exhale, chest and chin to the floor. And then straight away come up into upward facing dog. So tops the feet to the floor, push through the hands, extend to the elbows, upward facing dog as you inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, step your left foot forward in between your hands, exhale, right heel to the floor. Warrior one, inhale, rise up. And exhale, open arms, chest and hips to the side, warrior two. Inhale, stay here, and exhale. Two more breaths. Deep into the left knee. Stay.
extend to the right leg. Inhale, extend to the left leg. Exhale, slide the right hand down the right leg, left arm up and over the left ear. Inhale. Keep the right hand where it is. Exhale, deeply bend the left knee, reverse warrior. Look up. Three. Back to warrior two. Inhale, so keep the legs as they are. Exhale, either the right elbow to the thigh or the left hand to the floor. Right arm reaches up and over the right ear. Inhale. Exhale. Two more breaths. Exhale, look down. Strong the legs, warrior two, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, extend the left leg. Exhale, reach out of the left leg, hinge down sideways, triangle pose, look up towards the right thumb. And then exhale, look down at your left big toe. Stand down through both feet. Inhale, come back up again. And exhale, bend the left knee, warrior two. Inhale, both hands to the floor. Lift the right heel up, step the left foot back. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale, knees to the floor. Exhale, chest and chin to the floor. And lie flat on your belly. Again, bend both your knees. This time, you're going to take your hands back and grab the insides of your ankles. So when you do that, make sure the soft part of your elbow faces out, the thumbs point up. Flex your feet and exhale, press your forehead down to prepare. Then inhale, kick into the hands, lift the knees up, the chest up, and look up and breathe. One more inhale, lift a little bit higher. And exhale, release, come down. Hands underneath your forehead, heels flop out to the sides. Take a moment, breathe in. And breathe out. Hands underneath your shoulders. And then from here, you're gonna press back into child's pose. Keep the tops of your feet down on the floor. Knees separate, seat to the heels and the forehead down. Tuck your toes under, inhale, forehead is still down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward, inhale, step your right foot forward in between your hands. Move your right foot to the center of your mat and exhale, bring your left knee to the floor on the outside of your right foot and sit both sit bones down on the floor. Make sure you're not sitting on your left heel. Bring your right hand on the floor behind you. Inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Make a twist, look over your right shoulder and continue with the breath. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, release your hands by your sides. You're gonna bring your right knee and stack it on top of your left one and still make sure that you're sitting down on the floor and not on your heel. It might be that you have to sit up on a block for this, that's okay. 
Extend your right arm up towards the ceiling and bend your right elbow. The right hand comes between the shoulder blades. Bend your left elbow back behind you and see if you can grab a hold of your fingers. Keep working your right elbow way back behind you and the spine is upright. Either choose to stay here. What can also help is if you have a towel or a strap in your right hand and you're holding the towel or the strap with your left hand just to close the gap. If you can, you would fold forward over your legs. Three breaths. Inhale, come up and exhale, release your hands. Sweep your right foot all the way back behind you, tuck your back toes and press back down with facing dog, exhale. Big breath in and out. Inhale, step your left foot forward in between your hands. Make sure your left foot is in the middle of your Hands in the middle of your mat. Exhale, right knee to the floor on the outside of the left foot and sit down. Ardha Matsyandrasana, left hand on the floor behind you. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, right elbow to the outside of the left knee and twist. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, release both hands on either side of your hips. Bring your left knee, stack it on top of the right one. Inhale, left arm extends up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend the left elbow, left hand between the shoulder blades. Bend the right elbow back behind you. See if you can grab your fingers and keep working your left elbow way back. Deep inhale. And exhale, fold forward over the legs. One more breath in, long breath out, stay down, then inhale, come up, and exhale, release your hands by your sides, and then lean back on the sit bones, bring your knees into your chest, feet off the floor, just for one breath in, and out, and then bring your feet to the floor, uncurl the spine, one vertebra at a time, come to lie flat on your back. And extend your legs out in front of you for a moment. Breathe in. And out. Take your block. If you have one, place it underneath your seat. You're going to have to bend your knees, bring your feet to the floor in order to do that. Or you just extend your legs straight up towards the ceiling without a block. Either way, the legs are up. Hands are by your sides, the palms face up. Close your eyes. Come into stillness. Breath is natural. Everything relaxed.
and then bend your knees, feet to the floor, take the block out, seat down, extend the legs, and relax for mini shavasana before we move into the meditation. Be here, be still, everything just relax. And then slowly take your arms above your head, stretching it out, fingertip to toe tip. And then relax again. Hug your knees into your chest and roll to your right side. And then pushing yourself up to sit and finding a comfortable seated cross-legged meditator position. Resting your hands on your knees or in your lap. Close your eyes. Be still. Make any last minute movements that you need to so that you can fully commit to being absolutely still the meditation part. Bring your attention to your breath, where you can feel the air going in and out of the nostrils. Just for a few moments, concentrate your attention simply on your breath. and the sensation caused by the air going in and out of the nose. Cultivating one pointed awareness, one pointed attention. Noticing the, when the mind wanders off, celebrate the fact that you noticed and gently guide your awareness back. You're training your capacity to focus and to concentrate every single time you bring your awareness back, you've just created kind of a muscle memory. You've just strengthened your capacity every single time. So you don't see it as a failure to keep your attention. You see it as a celebration that you noticed. And every time you bring it back, it's part of the process, it's part of the meditation practice.
awareness simply in the sensation caused by breath over and over again. If you feel the urge to fidget or to move in any way, try to resist that. You let it go and you just bring your attention back. You'll notice that the urge to move or to fidget or to scratch goes away. Now, cast your mind back to yesterday. And going through your day in your mind, from the moment you woke up, try to see what you can remember as a cause for celebration. You can go as slowly or as quickly as you like from one moment to the next or one event to the next. If you go slowly, Notice all the feelings that arise when you notice the reason. You decide on the pace. It can be the tiniest, tiniest, littlest thing. Something you noticed, something you experienced, something you did, something you said, something you didn't do, something you didn't say. You can also celebrate the, the actions of others, events outside of yourself. But just notice that that's not a reaction to avoiding your own celebrations. Really let it land, feel it. And then relax the concentration and bring your attention to this moment, this experience. Notice the atmosphere you've created within the body, within the mind. Bring your awareness back into the space, into the room that you're in. And bring your hands together at your heart center, your chin to your chest, sincerely acknowledging, celebrating and thanking yourself for waking up this morning to do this practice. If you're not doing it in the morning, celebrate the fact that you're doing it now. Namaste.